Mama, Yent is coming. She's down the road. Well, maybe she's finally found a match for you, Zaito. From your mouth to God's ears. Why does she have to come now? It's almost Sabbath. Go finish in the barn. I want to talk to Yenta alone. Mama, may I go out and play? You have feet to go. May I go too? Go too. But Mama, the men she finds. The last one was so old, he was bald. He had no hair. A poor girl without a dowry can't be so particular. You want hair, marry a monkey. Well, after all, Mama, I'm not yet 20 years old. Shut up! Do you have to boast about your age? Do you want to tempt the evil eye? Golda! Inside! Golda, darling, I had to see you because I have such news for you. And not just every day of the week news, once in a lifetime news. And where are your daughters? Outside? No? Such diamonds, such jewels you'll see, Golda. I'll find a husband for every one of them. But you shouldn't be so picky. Even the worst husband, God forbid, is better than no husband, God forbid. And who should know better than me? Ever since my husband died, I've been a poor, lonely widow. Nobody to talk to. Nothing to say to anybody. It's no life. All I do at night is sit and think of him. And even thinking of him doesn't give me much pleasure because you know as well as I, he wasn't much of a person, never made a living. Everything he touched turned to mud, but better than nothing. Good evening. Is Zeitel in the house? Yes, but she's busy. You can come back later. There's something I'd like to tell her. I said later. Muffle, I thought I heard you. Finish what you were doing later. All right. What does that poor little tailor model want with Zeidel? Oh, they have been friends since they were babies together. They talk, they play. They play? What do they play? Who knows? They're just children. From such children come other children. Oh, Muttel, he's a nothing. Yenta, ah, you said... children, children, they are the blessing in your old age. But my Aaron couldn't give me any. Believe me, he was as good as gold. Never raised his voice to me, but otherwise he wasn't much of a man. So what good is it if he never raised his voice? But what's the use of complaining? All the women enjoy complaining, but not Yenta. Not every woman in the world is a Yenta. Well, I must prepare my poor Sabbath table. So, goodbye, Gold, and it was a pleasure talking our hearts out but to each Yenta, other. But Yenta, you said you had news for me. Oh, I'm losing my head. One day it will fall off altogether and a horse will kick it into the mud and goodbye, Yenta. <laughs> of course the news. It's about Laser Wolf the Butcher, a good man, a fine man. And I don't have to tell you he's wealthy, but he's lonesome, the poor man. You understand? Of course you do. To make it short, out of the whole town, he's cast his eye on Tidal. Tidal? My Tidal? No, the Tsar's Tidal. Of course, your Tidal. Such a match for my Tidal. But, but Tevye wants a learned man. He, he doesn't like Laser. Listen to me, Golda. Send Tevye to him. Don't tell him what it's about. Let Laser discuss it himself. He'll win him over. He's a fine man, a wealthy man. True? True. So, you'll tell me how it went, and you don't have to thank me, Golda, because aside from my fee, which anyway Laser will pay, it gives me satisfaction to make people happy. What greater satisfaction is there? So, goodbye, Golda, and you're welcome. <laughs>